So like two, three months of like my YouTube feed is like filled with chat GPT videos. So I thought, let's give it a try and watch niche I'm working. I saw people making videos using chat GPT to edit video, using chat GPT to creating a website, using chat GPT to create a mobile app, iOS app, uh, using chat GPT to create whatever the hell they want, writing content, well, that's easy for chat GPT basically from website to video editing to even the audio editing you know a hell of things doing the assignment and not almost like chat gpt literally taking over the internet or may soon take over the world but today in this video we're gonna use chat gpt to create a 3d model yes so we're gonna do this in today's video so watch till the end to know how we're gonna do this so the first thing that we need to do is to download this open escape software which basically it's a software in which you put a program well why am i telling you let's ask chat gpt what it is so let me just put what is open so now you can see it gave you the answer open sketch software is a free open source software for creating solid 3d cad model and um, mechanical engineering open sketch uses script based approach so basically you can pause this video and read all the whole answer so well we're not here to read the answer we we'll basically create a 3d object so well i only downloaded it it is basically free and open source so if it is open source so it's basically free so I have only downloaded it. So let me just show you. This is the interface where you're gonna put the code and here you're gonna get the result of, in the form of 3D model. So let's go and ask ChatGPT to create something. So let me just put something simple here. So let me just add generate 20 millimeter cube. So basically it's a one line code or so you could say two line codes. Let me just copy this again. Go into the software, paste it here, go under design tab and then create click on the preview option now you can see this is a uh, cube with 20 millimeter sides uh, it's a basically a very simple object but <laughs> you can imagine we have created this object this 3d model using a ai tool basically chat gpt so let me just go and ask something a little more complex let's say um, generate well this one is going to be tough like generate scat code for fish uh, i doubt it, uh, the chat GPT will give us the correct model of it because i have not given what size i know the 3d model is kind of like complex thing you have to mention each and every side and every angle in order to get something done and i have not given anything to it i just wrote uh, give me the code for fish then let's see what result uh this is going to give to us so it's a pretty long code i believe let's see uh, how it's going to be so let me just remove this put it to this thing here and then click on preview Okay, so you can see we have not given anything and this is the result we got. I think SCAD software is not capable of like handling such complex object like SolidWorks and Fusion 360. But I don't really know because this is my first time I'm using the software after finding out how you can use the AI for, to create 3D model. And you can see, uh, I don't think this thing looks like a fish from any angle. But anyways, uh, still we are getting something by AI without using uh, without learning anything so now, now let me just put this here so this time i don't know i think kind of complex but a bit easier than the fish one so let me just put that here so now this is the code very few lines of code so let me just go and put in the software and let's see how this one gonna be well this is kind of interesting because you don't know what the result gonna be and you can see it's it's nowhere it looks like a from nowhere it's, it looks like an empire state building a majestic building but yeah it does look like a normal commie block type building in the soviet union well it's good at least we are getting something so let me just try more things so let me just give something more specific to it so let's say so this time we give a little more specific detail we want cylinder and on top of that we want a sphere with 60 millimeter of diameter so let's see what result got gonna give okay so let me just copy this code and put it on the software so let's see how is this gonna be so paste design and preview well this one looks good you can see pretty damn good i believe most of you don't know how to use like 3d modeling software so you know uh, once you open the fusion 360 i remember first time when i opened the fusion 360 it was like all the tools on the tab then i was like damn confused how am i gonna like learn this thing but slowly and steadily and learn that so if you only learn you can learn easily by going on youtube watching videos but if you're like complete beginner you want to create something very simple object i think chat gpt and using scat is pretty damn uh, easy thing you know to do that and um, once chat gpt get more and more smarter so i believe you're gonna you're, you can produce the more complex object in it 
But anyway, this one looks good. You can see, kind of looks like, I don't know what it looks like. If you know, comment down below. So, okay, so we give little specific detail. We got a little better results. So let me just put more specific detail on, uh, create something more complex. Okay, so our code is generated. So let me just go to the software, paste it, click on design, then click on preview. Well, we haven't got the pyramid here because there's like some warning like unknown module of course so this thing i think the chat gpt has put the pyramid here so it uh, unable to rec the software is unable to recognize what it is so let me just go back again and just define it more better way okay so instead this time instead of writing the pyramid i wrote the triangle so let's see how this one gonna be so erase put the code and click on preview okay so well well triangle is kind of like different from pyramid because pyramid the with all the lines you can see what i don't know what these are called they are connected one place but in triangle is it's not really connected one place you can see here but kind of looking good i believe it's it's awesome i believe uh, after like few years when chat gpt get more smart or maybe more like uh, autodesk on these like major software company come up with their own automation tool where you just stroke the lines like dali and chat gpt i want this kind of 3d model you define you now the measurement of their model uh, and the strength that you need uh, so it's going to design you the, all the mechanical parts or maybe the props or you could say organic 3d model of face and whatever you want to so future is, seems very brighter so let me just try and get a little something better so that we can print and say this design is created by artificial intelligence so let me just go and find it out what could be better so after playing with this tool for like few minutes and you can say not few minutes, probably more than like 20 minutes, I found like I asked as chat sheet, we generated as cat co code for like 100 millimeter big cat. And let's see, and chat GPT only said gonna be can be quite complex. But anyways, so we got the code. Let me just go and put it here. Like paste it, then on design, then click preview. And this time we got something better. Well, I know it's not looking like a cat, but you can see in the chat GPT created code in a code in which you can see a cylinder and then the sphere, uh, half of the sphere is in, inside the cylinder. Then you can see a four leg and then you can see a tail. So it means artificial intelligence, understanding how the animals looks. Maybe it's unable to give us the quiet code, which can like give you more specific, more detailed object. But I think this shows artificial intelligence is smart and as I like I heard the news, I read the news few days back where it shows the chat GPT's IQ is like touching the hundred points. I don't know. But it is just quite smart. So yes, I think this one is gonna be better. And like if you want to you can just download SCAT software and play with it and get something good and let me know. You can email me or message me or whichever way just tell me. I'm like I will ha happy to know what you have created using the artificial intelligence or chat GPT, what we want to call it. So this is the 3D model. So let's go put it on my slicer, slices it, and see how it's, uh, this gonna be. So, okay, so our 3D model is done. So let me just remove all the supports here. Well, there's this little bit support. So let me just remove that. So now you can see it's looking gorgeous. I mean, this is our first AI generated 3D model, which is like completely AI generated. Now in Fusion 360, there's an automate option if you are if you're using Fusion 360, you should have no this option where like Fusion 360 gives you uh, their own automated design uh, based on I don't know whatever they based their designs on, but this one is like hundred percent generated by artificial intelligence. I know this is looking way way simpler, not that cool, but for me it is cool. I like 3D printed this model. Here's some cinematic effect for you. I know it's not that good, but anyways. But this thing is going to be amazing and you know this shows the capabilities of artificial intelligence you know the scenario that runs in my mind is one day it's going to be like like 20 years but just think about it. listen to this thing carefully let's say artificial intelligence gets a mind now it's like iq is reaching like 130 one day it will reach like 200 points it's like way beyond the human 
capabilities, especially when the genius ones are, are also not that smart. Einstein was also not that smart. The AI would get, and let's say yeah, I get this this much smart, and now they uh, if they get this much smart, they have the they get the capability of designing a three D model, and once they start designing three D model, and they get the capability of operating three D printer and CNC machine, and they just create themselves, you know, just AI yeah, has a brain now. They create a three D model. Let's say one guy who once created a robot, that robot creating. Uh, replicating themselves you no know? like in movies you see the and that's how it's gonna be so if i put it in a very simple word ai will have a brain first and then they're gonna create their body uh, a 3d model of their body and then they use uh, technologies like 3d printing and cnc milling to create the body part and put it all together with the brain and also the pcb pcb in green because that's where the microprocessor chip they are gonna put on and that's how we get uh robots and who's gonna take over the world and destroy the human species well as of now we're like taking this thing as a joke but i think this thing gonna be happen one day but they were not gonna like destroy the human species because still we have like some control over the artificial intelligence at least for like 100 years even though artificial intelligence get this much well there will be like huge unemployment because of ai but i believe it's somehow gonna be contribute to the human society in a positive way so i'll leave you on that note so let me know what's your thought on this and do you find this fascinating or not so let me know in comment box and do subscribe for more 3d printing related videos and that's it guys support this channel thank you very much for watching love you all goodbye